Box rein. Auf. Oh. 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 Ja, good sink. of sink. Jerry doing with the bats. <laughs> In your watching sir what what pitch do you see? Um his fastball looks like it moves a little bit. Maybe it's a two seam. And that, <laughs> that's what you do. Oh. And um, guy in the blue looks like he throws a sinker or some or his fastball naturally sinks. Your grip so you can throw a cutter or a a sinker. So if I throw ten ten kinds of pitch, I'll be unstoppable, sir. No, because no, because you have to master ten pitches, and a lot even major league pitchers struggle with mastering two pitches. So I would say, master throwing strikes with your fastball, then master the changeup, then ma then try maybe a curveball. So I'm trying to pitch some. some knuckleballs. Yes, well, the knuckleball is what you do when you've run out of speed on your fastball. That's what pitchers do when they're on their last leg. So a knuckleball is a nice thing to learn, and some pitchers will use it as a changeup every once in a while. But really, fastball, changeup, sinker, curveball. Again, I know you're a kid and you like all the, the cool stuff that moves around. That's all fine and good, but throwing strikes is the biggest deal. Doesn't matter, it does matter how much the ball moves, but it matters more that you can control it. This is what happened yesterday when we were walking guys. If you're throwing, if you're not throwing strikes, then it doesn't matter how much your pitches move. It matters that you throw strikes or that you throw good pitches. And that more importantly, you're in control of those pitches. You know, have they're not wearing equipment, so I don't know how good blockers there are. But. Hey, that videos that you. That one was straight. But. The cutter picture is hard to reach. Eh? Um, what you do with a cutter, it depends on how hard you throw it. Um, if I'm hitting left-handed, let's say, and if someone throws me a cutter inside and I swing at it, it's going to break my bat. So that's one thing you can do with a cutter. A cutter can also be used as sort of a slider if you throw it slowly. So it can be used as an off-speed pitch. But yeah, you use... You use a cutter to generate ground balls, break bats, sometimes for strikeouts. In your team, sir, who's the... Who's the smallest player, sir? Right now? Right now we have a, kind of a small team, so that's... Um, actually, our starting shortstop is kind of small as well. Um, right. Do you, have, do you have small pitchers, sir? In size, but they throw reasonably hard, so... My answer would be big. I can I can but, throw. But high school in America is a little... High school in America is um, nine, ninth grade through twelfth grade, so you have a little older kids. Well, because here, for now anyway, like ele eleven and twelve are basically not allowed to play because they're too old, right? So for now, high school players are a little young here.
I know you're saying that their catchers are good. Their biggest thing is their catchers are not afraid to catch the baseball. They're not wearing a mask. They're not wearing a chest protector, but they have that that killer instinct, I, you could say. That was maybe a curveball or a bad changeup. That drops. Hmm? That drops. Too early. Well, it, if it looked like from his reaction, that's not where he wanted to throw it. That's a good strikeout pitch if that's what you're going for. But if you're throwing that on nothing and nothing, no balls, no strikes, that's a bad pitch. At our game in the elementary, sir, I tried to pick some sinker, but it got hit. 